Hey there, my Geminis. How are you? I hope all is well. If you're new to my channel, my name is Sean. Welcome. I'm happy you stopped by. Please remember, not everything I say is going to resonate with everyone. So just basically pick what messages resonate with you and what, which messages don't resonate with you. Just go ahead and throw it out. All right. Let's go ahead and start our reading with me reading Isaiah 61. It says, Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Isaiah 61. And I have something on here. Some of my makeup. Sorry, that's the Virgo in me. <laughs> Fix that. Ugh. I don't know if you guys could even see that. All right, let's go ahead and see what is going on with Gemini. I saw With or Without You, YouTube, that, that YouTube song, With or Without You. Some of you are confronting fears that you had. And some of you are walking away from something in the next 72. Okay. The Ace of Cups. All right. A new emotional beginning. Where do you want you want this with this one? Hmm. Give me just a minute. Yeah. All right. This one came out. Nine of Spears. Okay. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. Thank you. Ooh. The Three of Cups. I'm gonna have to put that right there. Ooh. The Magician wants to show its face. Ooh, the Nine of Cups. All right, I hope you guys can see that. Enjoy the silence. Some of you need to enjoy the silence. Okay, clarification on the Ace of Cups. really interesting Gemini as I look at your cards right here I feel like there's a new emotional beginning you guys were basically trapping yourself in when it came to something and now you're un you're like you're you're removing the swords right here with the ace of swords you're removing them and you're having a new emotional beginning with someone but there's also a block here in the present something you're not seeing something that's hidden right here when it comes to your money. Let me pull some more cards. Something you're not seeing. Some of you are going at after making your money a little, um, there's another way. Queen of Spears and the Nine of Spears, okay. Clarification on the Three of Cups. Give me just a minute. After I get done shuffling, I'm going to just look at your cards for a minute. Okay. And I read this deck intuitively, all right? I don't really want to take that one, but thank you, Spirit, for the message. That flipped over. That was too many flipped over. Okay, very good. Very good outcome. Okay. But you guys are going to have to let it uh, let it all play out. All right. Give me just a minute. I'm going to just look at your cards. Let's see here. Okay, Gemini. So for the next 72 hours, I see that you're finally getting out of this Eight of Swords energy. Okay, you're starting a new beginning. You want to start a new em emotional beginning. Okay, I feel a lot of peace in your reading. Like you don't feel standoffish. You want to come out. You want to get out of your room. Um, I don't know why I said that. You just, you want to come out and you want to be a part of the world. You want to start something differently. Like something has stirred up and a new, new emotional feelings. However, Gemini, 
there's something that was hidden from you as well and you'll see in the next 72 the moon right here and i'm a very i'm an intuitive reader especially when it comes to this deck i like to look, look at the images um we have the moon and the ace of coins reversed okay so this is basically telling me that some there was probably some secrets here um you were probably what is it trying to go on a business venture with someone or something and it's basically a bad investment spirit is saying okay there's some type of bad investment here um, a bad business partner someone who's a bit greedy someone's hiding something from you and they probably promised you something and you're seeing that they're a liar okay they're not promising they're not going to give you what they said um, in the next 72 hours I feel like you're going you're going to see that because um, that's what's going on with you presently for some of you Gemini's okay I also see in the next 72 there is a need for you to stand up um, to the Queen of Spears here okay um, the nine of Spears is basically about standing your ground in the traditional the nine of wands standing your ground and I feel like because I'm just reading that it's this intuitively for some of you Geminis, there's going to be a need for you to stand up to this Queen of Spears character woman, okay? She's probably a fire sign as well. You're going to need to stand your ground against her or him or whatever it is, okay? Now your advice is the Three of Cups and the Seven of Cups. I feel like Spirit is saying in the next 72, you're going to have to make a decision, um, even though there are no choice cards here, I read intuitively. So if you're a spiritual Karen, because I call them spiritual Karens, where they come in the comments and are like, that card does not mean that. I'm like, bitch, get off my channel. Excuse my language, okay? I read intuitively. Don't come on my channel trying to correct me. Stay in your lane. That's the problem. Stay in your lane with a lot of people. People don't know how to stay in your lane. You know, you do your thing. I do my thing. And I feel like because I'm bringing that energy into your reading, you're going to have to check someone like that, okay? That they need to stand in your lane. Because I'm saying this for a reason. You're going to have to check somebody. Someone's get being, um, they're not staying in their lane. Let me just say that, okay? Um, but I feel like they're saying that you have a group, a circle of friends, Gemini, that are going to offer you stuff. Um, and you're going to have to make some decisions, you know? You're going to have to make some decisions right here because this is about confusion, the seven of cups, because something's coming in right here. Um, I also feel like it's saying that you need to really go out and have fun for some of you, too. Um, you really do. If that's not your situation, some of you really need to go out um, and have some fun. But I do feel like you guys have like a group of people that want to help you if you're doing like some type of business thing. There are you have di you have several different options. OK. But also Spirit is saying, get out and have fun. All right. And it's funny because this person that's probably keeping keeping this, um, this secret from you. And they're not trying to pay you or not trying to give you your cut. Or um, that basically this was not a very good business deal. It could be you like not making it. It has something to do with somebody and not making a really good um it's just not a big, good business skill. This person is um, shady as hell. You're probably going to have to stand up to them. That's probably who it is, okay? It could be a woman or it could be someone that um, has a lot of feminine energy. Um, they do. They have like um, a lot of feminine energy, okay? But the outcome of all this is the fool. You starting a new beginning after you make this choice, Okay. But you're going to have to see this situation for what it is. Some of you may have not seen it for what it is. And after you see it, I see that it's going to be a new beginning. Because we have the Nine of Cups and we have the Ten. You go from Nine to Ten, okay? Again, I think I've seen this in your reading last time. You go from Nine to Ten, Gemini. What else can you say? Nine to Ten. You're going to, you're going to run into something after you make the right decision. You leave this bullshit situation alone. And it's going to bring you your Ten of Pentacles right here, okay? Now, let me see what is going on, Gemini, for love, okay? 
they've been kind of giving me these messages out of order. So let me go ahead and do this. For Gemini love, those that, I'm not even going to say in relations are, because in relationships are not, because they kind of give me their messages the way they want to give it. Okay. For some of you, there's going to be a reconciliation with someone, okay? And maybe that's where this new emotional beginning, this Ace of Cups energy is coming from. Ooh. Some of you might be experiencing a headache, pressure in your head, okay? And then we have the bottom of the deck, delays and blocks right here, okay? And I feel like really the delays and blocks is stemming from this situation here. It's causing some type of block in your life. Like, you got to let that, that situation go. Okay, it says reconciliation. This is a reconciling, hold on. This is a reconciliation of, I cannot read today. This is a recon, re, reconnecting. Oh my gosh, I could not say that. This is a reconnecting or healing of a relationship. A connection is rekindling and reviving. That's good. This could be a relationship reaching a different level. Respect a healthy shift, change, or growth. This may pertain to to the health, the healing of family issues. It's funny, I need to really go get new glasses. Some of you need to get some new glasses. I've been saying that for the longest of my videos and I'm still not doing it and I need to do it, okay? So some of you have somebody that's coming from the past um, and they want to make up with you. I'm hearing break up to make up. And then we have self-love here, okay? So practicing self-love and self-care will attract more loving people and healthy relationships in your life. Find peace and balance within. Accept the past and all that and all that is with grace. Accept yourself at all levels. This may pertain to an awakening of of love for yourself. All right, let me pull one of your release cards for you. What does Jim and I need to release in the next 72? This person right here, you do need to release. Surrender to the magic of who you are. Now, Geminis, you are very imagined, like magical. I love talking to a Gemini. Geminis are very funny. Like they're fun to be around. But some Geminis can tell some really like outlandish stories. I'm just saying. <laughs> but I love me a Gemini. They're great communicators and they're so much fun. Okay. It says we all have magic in us, even in the um, mundane aspect of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth, hold on, and worth that, and worth that comes from just being you. That's beautiful. All right. Let's see. What else is going to be happening, Spirit, for Gemini in the next 72? Thank you. Okay, that's good. Bear, danger, especially in money matters. This business deal or this business venture that you're doing, you need to really be paying attention to the red flags because um, this is a no-no. This person is like a backstabber. It says you are highly thought of. Someone is really thinking about you, is, is really like admiring you in the next 72 hours. And fair woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair will be significant in the next 72. Look out for that. Sorry if I hit the camera. And okay, that's it. I am not taking that many cards, Spirit. No, no, no. Okay, don't be tempted to lower your standards, okay? Don't be lowering your standards in the next 72. And we have a period of frustration, lessons to be learned. All right. Let me go ahead and pull this. These channeled messages for you. All right, that's it. Ah, that's wrapped around my finger. Okay, we're gonna take that. What was, this one was wrapped around my finger. Money is left for you by someone passing away, Spirit wants to say. There's gonna be money left for you for someone, someone passing away, there's an inheritance coming in. Oh my goodness. And it's sister. This was inside of it. So my condolences, Some of someone on here has a sister that passed away and they're leaving them money. Um, I send my condolences to you, okay? 
that's not for all of you. That's very specific right there. A big change is happening. There's a big change. You're going to afford to get it fixed. Some of you are afford your car, something about your car. Um, you're going to be able to get it fixed. Whatever this is, your car, your body, whatever, you're going to get it fixed. Afford to get it fixed. Stop smoking cigarettes, Spirit wants to say. Someone's on here smoking a bunch of cigarettes. You're, you relapse. Stop doing it. You're stressing. An offer you should really take. There's definitely going to be a better offer once you stop this bad business deal with this person, okay? Oh. It says you will be able to take the trip. Some of you are concerned about taking a trip. If you're going to have the money, Spirit says yes. It's going to be given to you. 1111 is, you guys are seeing 1111. 1111 is changed to me. Like 1111, a big shift is about to happen. They are, okay, they are really just putting on a show. Someone, what, some of you are watching someone and you're like, you know what, man, they do have it really well. No, they're actually just putting on a show and they're trying to aggravate you for some reason. And then last but not least, Spirit wants you to appreciate the smaller things in life. All right? Okay, Gemini, if you like this reading, hit the like button. Remember, I do personal readings as well. So if this really resonated with you, you can um, click the description box and book a reading with me. All right. Have a wonderful 72. Bye.